Shalom Israel. I am on my computer looking at the GOCC live stream video and I just wanted to share some quick insight on them. If you have been a follower of mine, you would know that I have been addressing their behavior to the public. And what is their behavior? Why do I expose, so-called expose them? Well, I'm not a fan of our modern day teachers. I believe many of them have a hidden agenda. Many of them are in it for the money. They don't really care for our people, although they give us the word. Uh, much of it is nothing but manipulation according to their understanding. And I don't believe that uh, they are really doing anything new. <laughs> if I can use that term, because if you go back and view a lot of uh, Bing Yahweh's videos, you're going to see that they're just continuing on where he left off at. They have the same clothes, the same messages, and the same style that Ben Yahweh had when he was on the scene. So I just wanted to share um, a scripture coming from Matthew 24 and verse 4. And this is what it says. Take heed that no man deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying that I am Christ and will deceive many. Are they false leaders? Well, if you are a follower of them, only you can discern that. You need to ask questions. You need to know uh, if their doctrine is aligned according to the scriptures. Are they taking up money? Which I definitely believe they're taking up money. <laughs> and they do charge you um, to learn more about the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the, uh, the Gospels of Christ through their academy school. So there's a lot of things that they do provide, but you still are going to have to pay to um, receive those benefits, spiritual benefits. <laughs> Did Christ charge his people to, for um, the gospel which he was preaching throughout Galilee to uh, the lost sheep of the tribe of Israel? No. He even formed his disciples. He said, freely you have received, freely give. So Matthew 7 and verse 16 says, you will know them by their fruit. That's how you judge your brothers in this modern day society. Shalom.